In this video, we will discuss medial medullary syndrome or Dejerine syndrome. We'll discuss its causes, clinical features, and the structures affected by the medial medullary syndrome and its investigation and a part of treatment. So, what percentage of a stroke is due to hemorrhage and infarction? 85% of strokes are due to infarction, atherosclerotic or embolic, and 15% are hemorrhagic. Medial medullary syndrome or Dejerine syndrome is the second most common cause of the brain stem stroke. And what's the most common cause of brain stem stroke? The Pico syndrome, Wellenberg syndrome, or lateral medullary syndrome is the most common cause of brain stem stroke. What's the cause of medial medullary syndrome? It's due to obstruction to blood flow to the medial part of the medulla. So, what's the blood supply of the medial part of the medulla? Anterior spine spinal artery supplies the medial part of the medulla oblongata. This is the medial part of the medulla supplied by the anterior spinal artery. This is the portion of the supply of the different parts of medulla. This is the vertebral arteries area that supplies the lateral portion, posterior spinal artery supplying posteriorly and anterior spinal artery supplying the medial part of the medulla. What's the origin of the anterior spinal artery? The two branches of the vertebral arteries one from unite to form the anterior spinal artery each which runs in front of the medulla and the anterior spinal fissure what's the origin of vertebral artery on the right side it arises from the innominate artery and on the left side it arises from the subclavian artery. How vertebral artery enters the brain? What's the course? It passes through the foramina of the upper six cervical vertebrae, passes through the foramen magnum to enter into the cranial cavity and unite with the other vertebral artery to form the basilar artery. Basilar artery on the other end is connected to the circle of villus. What's the cause of medial medullary syndrome or obstruction of the anterior spinal artery? A Atherosclerotic, thrombotic, or embolic occlusion of the anterior spinal artery. It supplies the caudal front of the medulla and anterior two third of the spinal cord. And what supplies the posterior one third of the spinal cord? That is posterior spinal artery. Most injury to the medulla are rapidly fatal because it has respiratory and cardiovascular center in it. What structures in the medulla are affected in medial medullary syndrome or Dejerine syndrome? Three structures that are affected are pyramid, the medial lemniscus, and the hypoglossal nerve. See, this is the hypoglossal nerve passing through after it arises from the hypoglossal nucleus, the 12th cranial nucleus. What are the clinical features of the medial medullary syndrome? The clinical features are that of involvement of the structures of the medial medulla supplied by anterior spinal artery. The corticospinal pyramidal tract damage will cause contralateral spastic hemiparesis and hemiplegia causes contralateral upper motor neuron type of lesion with spastic paresis. There is upper motor neuron type of lesion with weakness, spasticity, hypertonia, hyperreflexia and a positive Babinski. Involvement of the medial lemniscus causes loss of position, vibration and fine touch sensations. What's medial lemniscus? Medial lemniscus is the continuation of the dorsal column of the spinal cord which ascends ipsilaterally up to the nucleus cuneatus and nucleus crassalis in the medulla from the upper and lower half of the body respectively. They cross over as medial lemniscus to the thalamus and end in the sensory cortex in the postcentral gyrus. Medial lemniscus involvement causes loss of fine touch, vibration and proprioception on the contralateral side of the body. The fibers run ipsilaterally up to the nucleus cuneatus and nucleus crassalis in the medulla and the medial lemniscal fibers they cross over. So if the medial lemniscal fibers are damaged then it causes contralateral loss of sensations. 
what are the effects of hypoglossal nerve lesion involvement of the hypoglossal nerve will cause lower motor neuron type of flexed paralysis weakness fasciculation and atrophy of the tongue ipsilaterally protrusion of the tongue causes deviation to the same side or the weak side why due to the strong action of the opposite side there is no facial abnormality in medial medullary syndrome the investigation and treatment of the stroke ct scan differentiates ischemic stroke from the hemorrhagic stroke when does a ct scan becomes positive a small infarctions are difficult to visualize by ct scan with large ischemic strokes ct abnormalities are usually evident after 24 to 48 hours not immediately ct scan can detect hemorrhages subarachnoid hemorrhages aneurysms tumors and abscesses mri is more sensitive for a small infarct in all areas of the brain including cortex and brain stem diffusion weighted mri have high sensitivity for identifying ischemic stroke within minutes after the onset what's the mri finding in infarction in ischemia there occurs poor perfusion only with no other abnormalities that is seen in mri what's the advantage of a scan over mri a scan is done quickly and it has a wide availability there is claustrophobia for mri in the patients and mri is less sensitive than a scan for blood product angiography is the gold standard for identifying atherosclerotic stenosis it excludes the aneurysms reveals vascular occlusions and the tissues at a risk of infarction angiography can also identify vasospasm intraluminal thrombi fibromuscular dysplasia and av fistula treatment of the ischemic stroke generally its medical support thrombolysis antiplatelet agents anticoagulants and neuroprotection many told to reduce cerebral edema but hypovolemia should be prevented by giving isotonic fluid blood pressure should not be lowered precipitously why because it precipitates ischemia recombinant tissue plasminogen activator is for ischemic stroke and the contraindications to the tissue plasminogen activators are head injury in the past three months gi bleeding in the past three weeks recent mi coma or stupor or platelet count of less than 100000 hematocrit less than 25% or a glucose less than 50 or more than 400 mg per 100 ml